Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Extinction. Jay Steele here, and um, I was just flying around and found a tech quetzal. I was looking for a normal one, but I found a tech one. It's um not like super great, but it's a tech quetzal, and I kind of like its colors. Um, unfortunately, most of its stats are in its oxygen, but I think I want to try and tame it. Now, the biggest problem is, is I haven't tried to solo tame a quetzal, and it's kind of in a pretty hazardous location so I want to try and get it somewhere a little more friendly and I'm not entirely sure how to do that so I'm just going to try and see if I can guide it or kite it away from here I want it to go towards the city and be in the green area if at all possible but they have a mind of their own actually even on top of the implant thing would work well I don't I've never seen anything up there flying around so um, I'm going to try and encourage him to do that. I'll probably just speed this up here till I get ready to, to try and tame it. Come on, go the other way. There we go. Now we might have it. Maybe. I hope I didn't jinx it. Well, it didn't quite work how I wanted to. But at least it's in the city, which I consider to be much safer. Let's try and see if we can snow bomb it again here. Nope, I missed. <laughs> Not the great at it, but I th greatest, but I think I can get this to work. Which should drop him down to the ground and then I can put some gates up around it. That's not very fair, because it was already on the ground. And now it's on a spot I can't put the gates around it. It looked like freezing it that one time. Sure did something. Okay. We're all learning here. I want, I think, to try and get it on around his neck. It's kind of hard when his neck's in the wall, ain't it? See if that does any good. I don't know where you're going here, buddy. So let me see if I can get out of there. Oh, that's looking pretty trapped. Nope, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, I wanted to know because I want to pick these gates up before, dang it, that happens. That's right, I got extra. Um, yeah, I will demolish that. Dang, we were in a good spot with that, but let's go ahead and try it again. 
but uh, I kind of showed you guys the general concept there, so if it takes me a while, I might just jump to um, actually getting it. Of course, I didn't freeze it when it was in the air, so let's try and see if I can do that this time. There we go. I got it that time. I don't know what I aggroed. Oh, I know what I aggroed now. Hate these things. And I needed that, dang it. Well, I'll bring you back after this fight. Okay, the fight actually didn't take <laughs> but one more hit, so never mind. No, we don't can't have you going back out of the city just yet, buddy. We need you. Oh, I got under him when I did it. Well, I think I will just bring you guys back when I finally think I got it trapped here. Now that we did a successful bomb in the air. Okay, so I think I finally got it trapped here. Um, not 100% sure if I need to put a roof on it, but I kind of want to find out. Uh, I got more of these gates at home. They're relatively cheap, so let me just see real quick if he can find his way out. It doesn't look like it's so all I did once I finally got down. I, I put a gate behind him first and a gate up front, and then I unfroze. I came to the side and I snapped a quick gate in, and I was thankful that he flew that way. And then I came over to the other side and put another gate in. It looks like he's kind of in his spot there. So I'll probably try and do a um, full-on taming video uh, like this one way or someday. But I think for now, that will work out really well. And um, I'm just going to kind of scan the area make sure there's no big hostiles or threats that are going to come get me. I wanted to get him up higher where I wouldn't have to worry as much about other dinosaurs. But it looks, the ground looks fairly safe right now. So I'm going to knock him out and then I will go back to base and I will get some spikes around him. And, um, yeah. So I probably don't need to run you guys through the taming process. Just shoot it with Trank Arrows and um, give it kibble. So I will bring you back when we got this guy. All right, so we're back and it's all tamed up. Um. Not nothing spectacular, except for oxygen, which, you know, super good to have. Um, but, no, it, it tamed out pretty much just how it, it was supposed to. And um, I'm hoping if I ever find a nicer Tech Quetzal, um, preferably a male, I can kind of get some of the colors. Because I like the green on the wing tips and the, the blue, I think, is really pretty on it. So, um, that's... That's pretty much all I got for today. Just kind of a quick spur of the moment. Probably a really short video here. So, um, hoping you guys are enjoying. And um, maybe we'll see if there's anything that we can actually use this guy for. I don't know. I got an idea or two, but we'll, we'll have to see. So, hey guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually build the uh, tech quet or the, the battle quetzal here in the, the taming video as well. I kind of uh, went out. And put thatch all over to, to get a concept of what I want to do. Um, so again, uh, what I'm going to try and go for here is basically just a platform up top for some Volanosaurs to be on so we can shoot the Desert Titan and hopefully that'll kill it a lot quicker. Um, I actually had to go ahead in my server settings and bump uh, the platform multiplier up to 1.5 just so I can finish putting the railing around but otherwise I could make the deck and I could make one side with a ladder and I think I could have the feeding trough that I'm planning on putting in there I think I could do you could do all that with within the 40 but I wanted to make it a little prettier looking and it's not like I'm adding a whole lot to it so I went ahead and actually bumped my platform multiplier up to 1.5 so I'd go ahead and do this so uh, that's just general concept up here. This is the flight deck, or, or probably the gunner deck. And then in here, I'm going to have the feeding trough, probably right here under the stairs or the ramp. Uh, this is so you can ride the Quetzal while you're back inside. I like the glass window, but I don't think I'm going to be able to actually 
implement it um, in the build because I think it, it just it takes damage too easily. I mean, you can punch it and it takes damage. So it's not a very good safety protocol, especially if I'm going to be right here flying it, you know. So and then I'm going to try and fit with whatever building or you know amount of structures I can place on it at the end here. I'm going to try and fit beds in case um, up here the people on the Volanosaurus get killed. So that's just kind of a general concept and I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, actually fill it all out now and we'll bring you back and show you guys where everything's all, all built out of metal and all furnished and it's looking cool. So we'll be back here in just a moment. And just like that, we've got our War Quetzal's platform all built. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything. I do wish I could have that wind glass window in the front, but I don't think it'll hold up. Uh, maybe I'll put it back there for aesthetics. We'll see. Uh, it's really important, though, that I don't take any damage sitting on the driver's seat, though. And my only other concern is the uh, rope ladders that I put on might get damaged and, and fall off, so... I don't know how well those are going to go either, but I was able to fit three beds on here, which is not a whole lot, but it will have to work. Feeding trough, and then up here on the gunner deck, we have the Volanosaur, which people can come on and target and shoot the Titan. If they get hit by the flock, you know, it kicked them right off to the side, so hopefully they'll still be okay. Um, so that's how I'm thinking that's going to work out real well for us, and I still got right here so that you can still ride it uh, from the inside. You don't have to be from the outside to ride it. So real quick, I like to look forward sometimes, but um, I don't have a glass to look through anymore. Um, so it's only third person to fly this. Even though with the glass there, it was hard to fly it in first person. But uh, there, let's see if we can nab this pterodactyl here real quick. Um, it would be much more ideal with tri-mates because they could be on the flight deck or the gunner deck here to do stuff like this. And yeah, that's basically what we're planning on doing for the um, for the desert tight. So hopefully that will be a lot quicker than um, Wyvern fight, which I might be uploading a video of uh, us fighting them with the Wyvern here soon. I'm not 100% sure yet because it was kind of a long fight. It takes a good 20, 30 minutes um, with the wyvern of biting it just to to kill it but it does work so that'll probably be the next one but um yeah i think we're all good with this quetzal and uh i can't wait to actually get to use it now so this will be fun so that's that's all i got for today's episode so thanks for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed and uh maybe even learned something useful here out of the quetzal i don't know uh but thank you for watching and have a good day